everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello. If you're a friend coming back, thank you for coming back and hanging out with me tonight. We are on Thursday and I had a pretty hectic week this week. Uh, I lost a whole five days to a camping trip and am trying to scrunch <laughs> like a whole week's worth of work into two days um, because we got back yesterday. So I have today, which is Tuesday, um, even though you're seeing this on Thursday and tomorrow, which is Wednesday, to get everything done for the week because Thursday, I work um, up at our shops by the lake where we have a couple of booths. My aunt and I um, have two booths, booth number 54 and booth number 108. Um, I'm sure if you've been around, you've heard me talk about the shops by the lake, but if you're anywhere in the area, there's my cat, <laughs> one of them. <laughs> They're actually eating in here right now. So um, if you hear a little, that's not me, that's them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, the shops by the lake, if you're anywhere um, in or around Northeast Ohio, be sure to stop there. It's a great place to shop, 150 vendor owned shops. Um, really cool thing to do for part of a day. Anyway, today I am going to show you some things that I found in Orwell, Ohio. Um, Orwell, Ohio is just slightly south of where my folks live up in Northeast Ohio. Um, they are in Jefferson and my sister kind of lives up there too. I have been going up there on a regular basis because I have a secret project happening. <laughs> I'm super excited about it and I can't tell you about it yet, but it's so close. Actually, um, that's where I'm going after I work on Thursday. I'm going back out to the farm. Um, my folks farm on Friday to finish this project and then I will be able to finish my documentary about it and share it with you but it's super exciting um, so I'm not gonna be home <laughs> for the rest of the week I have so much to do in the meantime so I'm scrunching in <laughs> this video for Thursday night and I realized I had a couple of bags from these two stops that me and my sister made um, in Orwell on one morning, right when they opened up, one was a, like a v, VFW, um, I believe it was some sort of, um, veterans hall and they had filled it full of rummage things. And the other one was a church. Now, if you missed the last church rummage sale I went to where my Aunt Beth and I did the trunk, um, show and tells, <laughs> Go back and watch that one. I'll put it up here and I'll put it down below. Um, man, that was a good one. This one, we did find some cool stuff. I'm about to show you. Let's get to these bags of stuff. Oh, one more thing before I get to the haul. This shirt is thrifted. I uh, wanted to just share that I finally got to wear it because it is a light kind of summery um, fabric. It's very kind of satiny and um, I love it. It's the first time I've had a chance to wear it because the weather's getting nice and warm. It's actually almost 90 degrees today, which is crazy. I think it's gonna be back down to about 70 tomorrow. So welcome to Ohio, <laughs> but I definitely wanted to share it. I got it for just a couple of bucks. I'll link the video so you can check it out. All right, now let's get into this haul. The first place that we went to, like I said, was a VFW haul that they opened up for a rummage sale and I want to show you a few things that I found there. The first thing that I spotted when we went in was this adorable handmade cat. <laughs> Look at his long legs. I don't believe that this is like a pre-done pattern or anything. I think this is something that was created by somebody and it's pretty wonderful. I think he's got the best face and he's got a great heart and this bow I think might need to go. It's just a cheap, you know, bow. I'll probably take that off of him, but. So darling, very kind of country, um, very kind of cool. And this is definitely something that I would consider putting over in the Yoso Whimsical booth at the shops. 
I think somebody will snatch him up for a few bucks. And I think I paid 50 cents or a dollar for him. So he was a good deal. Sticking with that theme, I found another cat item. This one says perfect kitty. And it is a pottery piece, a food bowl. It is signed, so handmade. I will try and find that, see if I can uh, figure out who made it. And then the inside little artwork is super cute. It's got this big fat tabby cat. <laughs> and he is perfect. So paid probably a dollar for that. And then I picked up this really cute, it's a strawberry. I guess you could put some food in here for a bird because it has a little bird on top. It's not a like high quality piece, it's lightweight, but it's in really nice condition. And I think it's really neat, very cute. Um, again, probably 50 cents, <laughs> maybe a quarter. This guy was 75 cents. I'm gonna try and see, he's got a sticker underneath this sticker. I'm gonna try and see if I can get to it. Oh, I got it. It just says, made in the Philippines. Kind of wonderful, very sellable. I have sold Tiki stuff at the booth. I've sold a couple of things over there and might be fun this summer to put some fun summer Tiki stuff in there. So that's maybe where he's going, but he is awesome. Especially for 75 cents. They had a Christmas section, all good rummage sales do, and check out this tree topper right here. My gosh, pretty fancy, got sparklies, and it looks like it was made by linens and things. So this was uh, originally sold at linens and things, and I paid 50 cents for it. Somebody bought it clearance for $4.99. Then somebody had a garage sale and they couldn't sell it for a dollar. And so then they they put it at the rummage sale for 50 cents. I think it's really nice. I think that I will be able to get at least this original $10 for it um, over at the shop at Christmas time. It's a cool set. And then finally at that VFW sale, I found a Mr. Wonderful. And Mr. Wonderful... <laughs> If you don't know about him, he was popular, I don't know, early 2000s. I actually had one. I had a friend who bought me one a long time ago because I used to make her laugh about my my jokes about men and dating. And so she bought me a Mr. Wonderful. I don't know whatever happened to him, but to find another one in a box, pretty wonderful. Um, I'm gonna push his hand and see if you can hear him here in the microphone. Here, you take the remote. As long as I'm with you, I don't care what we watch. <laughs> Let's do another one. You know, I think it's really important that we talk about our relationship. <laughs> Anyway, he's pretty cool. Looks like he was originally purchased at Dillard's for $15. And obviously his battery's still working. He's hilarious. He will either go over to the shop or I will put up here what he's going for on eBay. Because obviously if he sells well on eBay, I'll put him over there. But all right, one more. <laughs> Let's just cuddle tonight. <laughs> he's just awesome. All right, so then we went right down the street to this church sale. And I think we probably should have started at the church sale first. It was bigger, it had more things. Um, but by the time we got there, it was probably about, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour into the sale. We still found some great things. Right inside the door, they had some blankets and I found this Afghan. It is a nice size lap blanket, about six feet long, about five feet wide. So nice lap blanket, really nicely constructed and will make a great addition to the booth over at Christmas time. We do pretty good with quilts and afghans. So 
that's where this is gonna go. Next I found this pretty little tin. It is just a flowered tin, it's unmarked. It looks like it has a little bit of age, but it has a nice little surprise in it. It is full of tiny little mercury glass ornaments. So there are some bells in here and there are some little balls. That one does not have a top, but most of them do. So there's probably at least a dozen in here. I'll probably put these in a nice clear container and sell them at Christmas time. I think I have a small Christmas tree shaped clear jar that these might go into. Right next to that tin, I found this cute little pipe cleaner bunny. He's adorable. Um, it's his googly eyes. I always say put googly eyes on anything and I will buy it. <laughs> I love these. These were popular. Um, this kind of crafting was popular in the like 80s and I think we should bring it back because man, they are cute and seem really easy to make. But I'm gonna put him in my assemblage uh, stash and maybe he'll show up in assemblage uh, next Easter. I found a $1 bag of jewelry and it had two necklaces in it and a watch. Um, I looked at the watch and I noticed that it said fossil. I know that fossil watches um, can have some value. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna pick that up. Even if it needs a battery, it might be a good buy, especially for a dollar. I'll have to get a battery put in it and see if it has any value. But worth the risk for a dollar, right? Also fits pretty well. <laughs> the two necklaces that came with it, one looks like a vintage lobster claw clasp. And it has these kind of dark amber colored beads um, interspersed with some either resin, probably resin. They look metallic, but they, they sound like they're resin um, beads. And then this one has one of these kind of clasps, which is also vintage. And this one is just a nice, delicate, not expensive, probably plastic or resin beads with these little, they almost look like acorns or something. I don't know, fancy little pearly acorns. I have no idea what this is. I think they had a dollar on it and that was worth grabbing. <laughs> It says Granny's Farm Fresh Eggs. I love the graphics. It's wood with this applied kind of paper, I don't know, maybe put on by Mod Podge. And it has on here a tag that says, Painter of the Lost Arts, Tom Baldwin, Ohio Wholesale Inc. So I don't know if that's the person who made this. This is really weird because <laughs> I found another one of these that you will see in an upcoming week at our Akron Goodwill. <laughs> and I found out what this is. It's supposed to have a timer in it. Just a little, you know, flippy timer. And this one is missing it. I don't know what these are about. They're like ceramic eggs that are all broken. I don't know if it was a game. I have no idea, but for a dollar, it just has a really cool aesthetic that I thought, what the heck, I'm definitely gonna pick that up. Maybe I'll figure out something to do with it that'll be fun, that will go in the booth and somebody will love it. <laughs> ah! I don't know, some little switch has been flipped in me because Recently, I have picked up some very strange, clowny, creepy things, and here were these two plastic um, doll heads, definitely vintage, something about the side eye, no idea, 
what's going to happen with these guys. I feel like they just need to be part of an assemblage or something kind of funny. Um, I could see somebody just hanging them on the wall. Just, you know, somebody with an odd sense of decor. Just because they're vintage and they're kind of cool and yet kind of creepy. <laughs> then I found a game called Throw Throw Burrito. And it is a dodgeball card game. If this isn't fun, I don't know what is. The little burritos in here are like the squishy memory foam burritos. Oh my gosh. Um, it's unused. The cards have not been used. The burritos are very clean. Uh, so I could sell it as a new game. However, I feel like this is a family game that we are going to have to break out because throw, throw burrito. <laughs> it just screams, play me. It says it's a game by exploding kittens. So hello. If you name your game company Exploding Kittens and you create a game called Throw Throw Burrito, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Especially when it's at a rummage sale for like a buck. Cause I think that's probably what I paid for it. I'll let you know how it goes. Finally, the last thing that I saw and this was in like a furniture area was this piece. I don't think anybody knew what it was. I knew what it was because my Aunt Beth and I had seen one probably within the last year. Um, it was an older one at an antique shop and I did not know what that one was, but looked it up. So then it was in my memory bank. But do you know what it is? No, it's not for toilet paper. <laughs> Although it might hold several rolls. <laughs> it is a log maker out of newspaper. So you recycle your newspapers by starting them in here. This actually screws into here and you crank it nice and tight and make nice newspaper logs for your fireplace or for, you know, making a fire, fire starter. Um, they're worth a little bit of money. A nice old one is gonna be worth more. So keep an eye out for these. If you see one at a rummage sale or, or a garage sale, pick it up. And that, my friends, was the haul from that day um, that I was hanging out with my sister before we got into the super secret project that I can't tell you about. Kit, it's coming. I'll tell you soon. <laughs> um, I'll tease you until I actually get to show you. But it is. It's a big deal. It's really cool. All right, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with me on this Thursday evening. I love you for that. Um, if you are still here and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do that. Just hit that subscribe and then click on that bell. Set it to all so that you uh, get to see me a couple of times a week. You'll know when I put up a new video. And then while you're clicking around down there, click a like or a dislike. I don't care. And then do me a favor and drop a comment down below. Did I find something in these two sales on that morning that you thought was cool? Or if you want, just say hello. I will definitely respond to you. Um, and the best thing you can do for the channel is to share me out. Tell a friend that you're watching a channel um, where I find cool stuff, where I take you thrift shopping. Um, we are always searching for treasures. Tell them to come on over, subscribe, join our little Yoso Boho tribe. All right, everybody, it is Thursday. That means we have a weekend in between us and I will see you on Tuesday. But until then, please take care. Bye.